Hello all, welcome to the class on abortion. I am Dr. Sanil Kumar MC, Professor and Head of the Department, Department of Forensic Medicine, Government Homeopathic Medical College, Kori Code. First, we are looking into the definition of abortion. Abortion is defined as the expulsion of products of conception at any stage before confinement. So, uh, abortion is defined as the expulsion of the products of conception at any stage before confinement. Then, abortion is defined as the spontaneous or induced termination of pregnancy at any stage before delivery. So there are actually two types of definition. First one is the abortion is defined as the expulsion of products of conception at any stage before confinement then abortion is defined as a spontaneous or induced termination of pregnancy at any stage before delivery. Uh, looking into the signs and symptoms of abortion, we can uh, the lady may experience uterine contractions, uterine hemorrhage, softening and uh, dilatation of cervix, and lastly, expulsion or presentation of all or part of the products of conception. So these are the uh, common signs and symptoms that are present during abortion. Now about the types of abortion. Abortion can be classified uh, on the basis of uh, clini uh, clinical uh, classification as well as medical legal classification. The clinical classification of uh, abortion includes spontaneous or natural abortion, accidental abortion, artificial or induced abortion, complete abortion, incomplete abortion, threatened abortion that is abortion is likely to happen and uh, the lady may present with uh, bloody discharge and uh, no with no cervical dilatation then the next one is inevitable or imminent or unavoidable abortion and the lady may be presenting with bleeding from vagina uterine contractions and cervix will be soft and dilated Another one is missed abortion where abortion has not occurred through embryo though embryo or uh, fetus uh, since uh, more than 8 weeks that is missed abortion. Um, another one is uh, habitual abortion that is uh, some ladies may experience more than 3 to 4 successive, successive abortions. Then the next one is about uh, tubal abortion where the abortion of tubal pregnancy occurs and the abortion of tubal pregnancy may occur into the peritoneum then infective abortion, septic abortion and lastly idiopathic abortion. This is a clinical classification of abortion. The medical legal classification of abortion is, uh, uh, is into two types that is spontaneous abortion or the natural abortion and the artificial or induced abortion and artificial or induced abortion can be again classified into legal uh, or justifiable abortion and criminal abortion. We will be focusing on the uh, medical legal classification of abortion. So what is natural abortion? It is defined as abortion which occurs spontaneously that is of its own. The characteristics of uh, natural abortion include the incidence of natural abortion is about 10 to 15 percentage of all pregnancies. This uh, mo is more commonly seen in primary gravida. This is more common in the second to third month of pregnancy and uh, it is more common with a male child, pregnancy with a male child. Looking into the causes of natural abortion, the first and foremost causes uh, the constitutional disease of uh, mother which is present in the mother um, during pregnancy that is in case of uh, elderly primary, uh, in case of a short stature, uh, viral or bacterial infections, anemia, jaundice, syphilis, tuberculosis, smoking, alcohol, exposure to radiations, lead poisoning. So these are the constitutional diseases where uh, uh, there is a tendency for natural abortion. Then the next cause is uh, congenital abnormalities of genital organs like retroverted uterus, malformed uterus, etc. Then pathological conditions of uterus like uh, large fibroid, incompetent ovaries, 
cancer of uh, uterus, cancer of ovary or cancer of cervix. Then the next cause is about uh, trauma to abdomen due to an assault or a fall. Uh, sometimes uh, sudden fear, joy or loss of temperature can cause uh, natural abortion. Some conditions relating to uh, causing to uh, death of fetus may include disease of placenta, RH incompatibility, bacterial or viral infections, syphilis, anemia, radiations, uh, teratogenic or cytotoxic drugs, hormonal imbalances, etc. MTP means uh, medical termination of pregnancy. So MTP or medical termination of pregnancy is done as per MTP Act 1970. You can see the uh, facing page of the book, uh, medical uh, of the uh, law that is uh, the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act uh, 1970. It is a bare act, and uh, this uh, act was passed on August 2nd. Uh, 1971 to regulate termination of pregnancy on certain grounds and uh, the, the, the grounds on which uh, medical termination of pregnancy can be done is therapeutic, eugenic, humanitarian, social as well as environmental. We will be looking into each indications one by one. The first and foremost indication is therapeutic. So pregnancy can be terminated if continuation of pregnancy is a danger to the health or life of the mother. And conditions uh, that may uh, that may indicate a therapeutic abortion include uh, IHD, pulmonary hypertension, accelerated hypertension. Uh, IHD means ischemic heart disease and pulmonary hypertension, accelerated hypertension, acute hepatitis, hepatitis hepatocellular failure, active peptic ulcer, acute uh, pancreatitis, acute colitis, acute nephritis, glomerulonephritis, pyelonephritis, nephrotic syndrome, diabetes, insanity, epilepsy, cytotoxic, cytotoxic drugs taken by the mother, then can, uh, carcinoma breast, carcinoma ovary, carcinoma uterus, carcinoma cervix, carcinoma vagina, large fibroid present in the uterus of the mother, irreducible prolapse of uterus, hydramnios, hydratidiform mold, preeclampsia, eclampsia and lastly history of repeated cesarean section. So these are the uh, conditions that may uh, indicate uh, a therapeutic abortion. The second uh, indication is uh, eugenic that is pregnancy can be terminated if the continuation of pregnancy is likely to result in, a, in a gross uh, physical handicap in the child, gross mental handicap in the child and lastly death of the child. Some uh, diseases that can cause uh, or uh, that can indicate eugenic abortion as viral infections like German measles, hepatitis B chicken pox, bacterial infections, syphilis, excessive exposure to radiations which is more than 200 rads, cytotoxic drugs like thalidomide, LSD, RH incompatibility, patients suffering from inheritable chromosomal disorder, parents suffering from inheritable psychiatric disorder. The next indication is humanitarian. So humanitarian means pregnancy that can be terminated if it has been resulted from rape. And the next indication is about social. So the pregnancy can be terminated if it is due to failure of contraceptive. And lastly about environmental in, uh, factors or uh, the indications. Uh, the pregnancy can be terminated if the, if the environment around the mother is not healthy for the proper development of uh, child due to poverty, small home already having many children and an elderly child being handicapped so uh, he may be requiring extra attention so another uh, pregnancy can be avoided. Now about the requirements for MTP. MTP can be uh, medical termination of pregnancy can be done as a routine procedure or in case of emergency. So requirements for a routine uh, medical termination of pregnancy include recording of preliminary data. Then we should obtain written informed consent. So consent uh, can be given by the girl her herself if she is above 18 years and fully conscious and uh, 
If it is otherwise, the consent is taken from the guardian and MTP cannot be done at the request of only the husband of the lady. So, consent of the lady is prime is of prime importance. MT cannot be done only with the request of the husband. Then MTP can be done only by a registered medical practitioner and such registered medical practitioner should have experience in obstetrics and gynecology of at least one house job of six months or have should have uh, performed or assisted 25 medical termination of pregnancies. Then the registered medical practitioner should be registered with the board certifying to conduct medical termination of pregnancy. Usually it is done by a civil surgeon. And medical termination pregnancy can be done only at a government hospital or a center or a hospital recognized for doing uh, medical termination pregnancy and all the information should be treated as professional secrets. An opinion about medical termination pregnancy should be based upon indications for uh, medical termination pregnancy as stated earlier and it should be formed in good faith. And for medical termination pregnancy below 12 weeks, opinion of one registered medical practitioner is sufficient. And for medical termination pregnancy between 12 to 20 weeks, opinion of two doctors is required. Beyond 20 weeks, MTP cannot be done as of now. Then we will be looking into the requirements for medical termination pregnancy in case of emergency. So in emergency that is if there is a danger to the life of the mother as in therapeutic, therapeutic uh, indication then medical termination can be done by any RMP at any place at any stage of gestation provided there is a clause that the opinion is formed in good faith that medical termination pregnancy is essential to save the life of the mother that is uh, medical termination pregnancy in emergency is uh, done only on therapeutic grounds and uh, MTP uh, beyond 20 uh, weeks also can be done with special permission. There has been uh, a proposal for amending the MTP Act of 1971. So uh, regarding this proposal, uh, there are some proposed changes in the MTP Act 1971 that is it will allow uh, Irish doctors to conduct abortion and to allow medical abortion any time during the pregnancy for selective fetal abnormality which cannot be detected within 20 weeks of pregnancy that is eugenic indication. Then uh, to extend gestation period for abortion from the current 20 weeks to 24 weeks for women uh, falling under special category. And there are some alarming statistics like uh, 22 million unsafe abortions are performed each year worldwide and uh, in India about uh, 7 million abortions are conducted annually. Then out of the 7 million about 50% uh, of abortion in India are illegal and the rate of maternal deaths due to unsafe compl uh, abortion complications is about 8%. There was another news. Uh, during uh, November 1st to 2014 in the Times of India Mumbai edition that is abortions by midwife, Arvev and uh, homeopath doctors said to be legalized. So uh, the key points of uh, MTP amendment bill include as we have stated earlier uh, termination up to 20 weeks, 24 weeks of pregnancy, pregnancy poses a risk to life or uh, physical or mental health of the mother. Then no upper limit to the termination of pregnancy if diagnosis establishes substantial uh, abnormality that is eugenic. Then Ayurveda, Yunani, Siddha, homeopathic doctors and even uh, qualified midwives can conduct abortions and rape survivors can opt for termination up to 20 weeks as the anguish can cause grave injuries to her mental health. Now this is the uh, proposed uh, uh, amendment to the MTP Act 1971. Uh, now coming to the methods for uh, doing medical termination pregnancy, different methods like uh, menstrual regulation, dilatation and evacuation, dilatation and quiratage, uh, dilatation and oxytocin drip, amniocentesis and infusion of prostaglandin E2, prostaglandin F2, amniocentesis and infusion of hypertonic glucose 50 percentage or saline 20 percentage, extra amniotic infusion of Ethacronic lactate or impridil and hysterectomy after 20, 12 weeks. 
Now uh, the complications of uh, medical termination of pregnancy, some uh, complications so that is immediate complication uh, are uh, death may be due to neurogenic shock, extensive hemorrhage, perforation of vagina, laceration of cervix, laceration of uterus, laceration of uh, bladder, uh, laceration of bowel, incomplete abortion and lastly due to anesthesia that can occur. Delayed complications like infections, sepsis and uh, in 3 to 5 percentage of uh, ladies undergoing medical termination pregnancy, sterility can result in 10 to 15 percentage menstrual disorders uh, may be present. If there can be psychological disorders, then uh, in, uh, there are increased uh, chances of uh, natural abortion that is 33 percentage of more in subsequent pregnancies and uh, there is uh, increased chances that is 33 percent more chances of complication in future pregnancy and uh, 33 percentage of um, uh, increased chances uh, of congenital anomalies in children in future pregnancy now coming to le uh, criminal abortion definition is any abortion done with criminal intention with or without the consent of the pregnant lady is labeled as criminal abortion and is punishable so criminal abortion is any abortion done with a criminal intent with the consent of the lady or without the consent of the uh, uh, pregnant lady uh, is uh, labeled as criminal abortion and any act of criminal abortion is punishable and usually criminal abortion is done in the second or third month of pregnancy because at this time she is sure of pregnancy and others do not know about it. Some uh, pointers to unsafe abortions in India that is uh, unsafe abortion in India is a health hazard for women that is more than half of the abortion that take place in the country are unsafe and about 10 women die due to unsafe abortions each day that is um, uh, that is an alarming statistic that is uh, 10 women die due to unsafe abortions each day in India and 8% uh, of maternal death is due to unsafe abortion and uh, there is a wide variation between government and other estimations of uh, the rate of abortion that is induced abortions performed in public sector health facilities uh, clocks around 7,23,000 and annually 48 lakh induced abortions performed in formal facilities out of this 24,000 had certification to provide abortions as uh, required under the law. So uh, that is an alarming study that is out of the 48 lakh uh, abortions uh, about uh, 50 percentage is taking place as uh, unsafe. And about uh, abortion statistics uh, in the world about uh, 56 million uh, uh, abortions are induced each year and in India about 6.4 million abortions are uh, induced each year and out of the 56 million 22 million uh, are unsafe abortion in the world and uh, in uh, 6.4 million about 3.6 million are unsafe abortion in India that is uh, around uh, 50 percentage or more and uh, in the world about 47,000 women die of unsafe abortion and in India about uh, 3,520 women die of unsafe abortions. What the law says about criminal abortion? So any criminal abortion committed or attempted whether on a woman or presumed to be pregnant is punishable under section 312 to 316 and 511 of Indian Penal Code and punishment is more if pregnancy is beyond the age of quickening that is beyond 20 weeks of pregnancy. Looking into the uh, different sections uh, of uh, Indian Penal Code section 312 IPC uh, so uh, causing miscarriage uh, can attract uh, imprisonment for up to three years and fine or both and causing miscarriage if the child is quick then imprisonment may be up to seven years and fine 
Section 313 IPC that is causing miscarriage without the consent of the lady. The punishment is life imprisonment or up to 10 years and fine. Section 314 IPC death caused due to miscarriage, uh, imprisonment up to 10 years and fine and death caused due to miscarriage and act if it is done without the consent of the lady up to life imprisonment or up to 10 years and fine. Section 315 IPC death of child during pregnancy up to 10 years or fine or both. Section 316 IPC death of quick unborn child by act amounting to culpable homicide imprisonment up to 10 years and fine and section 5, 511 IPC attempted criminal abortion the punishment will be imprisonment up to 2 3 years and it may be up to 7 years if the pregnancy is beyond quickening that is about 20 weeks of pregnancy then the role of a doctor uh, in case of a criminal abortion so first we will looking, uh, look into the indications for uh, medical examination so a uh, case of uh, criminal abortion may be brought to the doctor under the following situations like abortion due to homicidal trauma to the abdomen or to the pregnant lady of the pregnant lady then uh, due to abortion she demands more compensation then the lady may try to conceal criminal abortion and therefore uh, pregnancy and the lady is being blackmailed for being pregnant and causing abortion then abortion may be resulting in excessive hemorrhage and during abortion the lady dies. these are the circumstances or the conditions where uh, doctor has to examine for the uh, presence of a criminal abortion we have to uh, take some precautions during the medical examination that is in case of uh, criminal abortion we have to record the preliminary data we have to obtain written uh, inform, informed consent from the lady then we have to take uh, history of stage of pregnancy methods of uh, criminal abortion time of criminal abortion complications if any or any treatment received and about the history of drug allergy then we have to examine in the detail then we have to inform the police, maintain professional secrecy and if we are going to the patient's residence, we have to inform a colleague also. Then in all cases of criminal abortion, we have to consult a colleague and if the patient is serious, we have to inform the police and if the patient is likely to die, we have to arrange for recording uh, the diet declaration and if the patient dies, we, ha we should not issue death certificate but we have to inform police and send the po uh, body for post-mortem examination. And uh, now about the uh, medical examination case of criminal abortion uh, on the exam of the examination of mother if the mother is uh, living then we have to look into the general condition and level of consciousness of the mother signs of pregnancy uh, we have to do all the systemic examination uh, look look out for the evidence of abdominal injury evidence of genital injury evidence of genital bleeding uh, foreign body if present in genital should be recorded then about evidence of poisoning and uh, if the mother is dead in addition to the examination as in the living mother we have to look uh, for the size and weight of uterus injuries to the uterus condition of fetus examination of ovaries and also we have to examine the fetus uh, and estimate about the age of fetus whether uh, the fetus is viable and also for the cause of death Lastly about uh, laboratory diagnosis, uh, the materials to be collected uh, uh, during the examination should be sent for further analysis by forensic science laboratory and this include examination reports, soiled clothes, instruments used for criminal abortion, any foreign body in genitals and for a chemical analysis we have to send the routine viscera as well as additional viscera like uterus, bladder and rectum. Now about the methods used for criminal abortion, uh, different methods like uh, drugs, mechanical violence, mechanical violence, plus drugs may be used for uh, procuring uh, criminal abortion. The usual drugs that are used for criminal abortion include uh, acting uh, that act directly on pelvic organs or acting indirectly on the pelvic organs and causing congestion and systemic poisoning. The drugs uh, that act on uh, female genitalia include act, uh, drugs acting on vagina which causes ulceration and bleeding like uh, KMNO4, HGCL2 and corrosives 
and sometimes drugs uh, di directly at your uterus uh, may be given like uh, egg bolics and amenagogues. So egg bolic means uh, substances uh, that increases uterine contraction and this is ineffective in first trimester and uh, some of the egg bolics that are used for criminal abortion include ergot, quinine, the pituitary extract, cotton root bark, stricture and etc. And uh, another drug that may uh, act on uterus include amenagog that is uh, drugs that increases the menstrual flow. So egg bolics increases uterine contraction and amenagogs increases menstrual flow. Uh, drugs like estrogen, borax, oil of epiole, oil of seven, prostaglandins etc. may be given. And sometimes drugs that act direct, indirectly on pelvic organs that is they cause congestion and systemic poisons may be given that is metals like arsenic, uh, lead, mercury, copper, then emetics like tartar emetic, epigac etc. purgatives like uh, castor oil, croton oil and seeds, colosynth, aloes, magnesium sulfate, essential oils like turpentine oil, vegetable uh, drugs like calotropes, jaifal, seeds of karela, methi. Uh, papaya, carrot, lavang, etc. Then some abortion pills are available like diacrylon, uh, diphenyl ephylene, and uh, the drugs that are commonly used in India for criminal abortion include vegetable poisons, abortion pill, purgatives, metals, and corrosives. Uh, sometimes mechanical violence that is general mechanical violence as well as local mechanical violence may be uh, imparted on the lady for uh, procuring criminal abortion. Uh, general mechanical violence the mechanism of, of action may be pressure on uterus or uh, causing uterine hemorrhage and separation of placenta. Methods uh, the general mechanical violence may many times uh, may be given to pregnant lady but uh, it rarely induces abortion and uh, uh, most commonly it is likely to cause harm to the health of the mother and mechanical uh, general mechanical violence is ineffective in first trimester that is uh, running uh, cycling skipping jumping from heights horse riding swimming alternate hot and cold bath kick or blow on abdomen massage of abdomen while a kneading of abdomen application of leeches and cupping these uh, methods of general mechanical violence may be ineffective in first trimester but uh, it may be uh, sometimes effective in second trimester or third trimester pregnancy now about cupping it is a method adopted by dais uh, tribal women and uh, backward communities to induce uh, abortion so uh, light and weak is kept on the lower abdomen this is a picture of cupping a uh, lighter wick is kept on the lower abdomen or camphor is burned on a coin and a tumbler is inverted on it and after some time the wick extinguishes and the tumbler holds tightly to the uh, abdominal wall and, uh, and the tumbler will be pulled violently resulting in the separation of placenta and thereby causing abortion. This is the process uh, called cupping. Then local mechanical uh, violence, uh, it may be uh, classified as unskilled, uh, performed by unskilled uh, persons, semi-skilled persons as well as skilled persons. Uh, the unskilled persons may uh, adopt uh, methods like uh, self-instrumentation, abortion sticks, etc. Then semi-skilled may uh, adopt uh, syringing, cervical dilatation, etc. And skilled persons during first semester, they will uh, go for menstrual regulation, dilatation and curatage and dilatation and evacuation. During the second trimester, they will uh, adopt uh, rupture of membranes and oxytocin drip or prostaglandins. And third trimester, they may use uh, electric current, amniotic fluid replacement, hysterectomy, etc. So unskilled persons, uh, first they may uh, adopt uh, self-instrumentation like uh, any an linear object like pencil, pen, knitting needle, uh, hairpin, stick, horn, nail or finger is introduced to the cervix by the lady herself and uh, sometimes abortion may result due to rupture of membranes. There are uh, certain complications that can happen due to self-instrumentation like death may occur due to neurogenic shock, uh, sometimes perforation of vagina, cervix or uterus can occur, there can be uh, excessive hemorrhage and 
after two to uh, three uh, weeks, uh, the lady may develop sepsis. Next uh, method that will be used by an unskilled uh, abortionist is abortion stick and this is commonly used by dyes to cause abortion, sometimes a linear object being 12 to 20 cm long and about 1 cm in diameter is used as abortion stick like plant twig, uh, bamboo stick or metal uh, pipe, plastic pipe or rubber pipe or tubes and this is introduced into the uterus through cervix resulting in rupture of membranes and abortion. Sometimes an irritant plant twig is used like uh, calotropics, nerium, odorum, uh, planta gorosia or cerebra, cerebra tibetia etc. So this is a picture of uh, an abortion stick and the abortion stick may be introduced uh, as such or uh, sometimes copper cotton may be wrapped on its tip uh, to prevent uh, injuries and uh, usually the cotton is uh, soaked in soap or soap uh, in uh, water soap solution oil milk or glycerin etc and sometimes uh, some irritant substances may be applied to the cotton like uh, marquina juice, red lead, white arsenic or as a foetida. and sometimes very rarely uh, irritant substance may be directly applied to the vagina or cervix and there are uh, usual complications like uh, death due to neurogenic shock, perforation of vagina, cervix or uterus, hemorrhage, sepsis as well as poisoning effect of irritant substance if it is uh, applied on the cloth that is wrapped around the abortion stick. The semi-skilled persons may uh, try to bring about some sterilization of uh, instruments uh, by using antiseptic creams and uh, uh, semi-skilled uh, persons may adopt uh, some uh, methods like syringing that is uh, intra-abdominally or, uh, or intra-vaginally some water, soap solution, glycerin or hypertonic glucose salt solution is injected into the intra-amniotic cavity by enema apparatus or Higginson's syringe and sometimes uh, they may uh, inject an irritant fluid like uh, Savlon, Lysyl, Markinet juice, Mercurochrome, Utes paste that is a paste uh, containing iodine and mercury, red lead, white arsenic, um, potassium permanganate or corrosives etc. This is syringing. And the complications of uh, syringing may be uh, same as with uh, use of a abortion stick and plus uh, it may present another complication like air or fat embolism. The second method that is being used in semi uh, skilled persons are cervical dilatation. So the cervix may be dilatation by a rubber catheter or using metal dilators like Hegar's dilator or a laminated. This is a, a laminated tent. This is a weed which swells in moisture and thus uh, dilates the cervix. Actually the uh, overnight uh, use of a laminated tent will uh, dilate the uh, cervix and uh, the lady may be uh, asked to come on the next day and the uh, laminated tent will be uh, removed by pulling out uh, the string attached to it and uh, later uh, dilatation and curettage or dilatation evacuation is done. A skilled person may try to achieve asepsis by use of uh, sterilized instruments and antibiotics and uh, the usual methods uh, are different in uh, different trimester that is in first trimester cervix is dilated initially by laminated tent and later uh, by using metal dilators like Hagar dilators. This is the different uh, uh, Hagar dilators with different diameters and then uh, menstrual regulation, uh, dilatation and curettage or dilatation evacuation is done. In the second trimester, rupture of membranes is done by uterine sound and then oxytocin drip is given or prostaglandins are injected to uh, induce abortion. Then in third trimester in some countries, especially USA, electric current is uh, with a negative pole at the cervix and the positive pole at sacrum is used. This is uh, not used in uh, or we are not advised to uh, perform abortion in the third trimester in India according to a medical termination pregnancy act and amniotic fluid can be replaced with 20% in saline or 50% uh, or in glucose then the last uh, uh, method is uh, doing hysterectomy that is removal of uterus. 
This is a, a method of doing uh, dilatation and curate that is a speculum is placed on the vagina uh, tentaculum. This is a tentaculum uh, that is clamped to the lip of the cervix and a cannula is introduced uh, into the uterus and the amniotic fluid placenta and uh, fetus are sucked through the cannula and uh, this is uh, sucked into a collection jar which is, which is attached uh, like a vacuum and the fetus and placenta are torn apart in the process and uh, the uterine cavity is scrapped with a curate that is why it is called dilatation and curate so uterine cavity is scrapped with a curate to determine whether any significant amount of tissue remains and this is these are the products of uh, dilatation of curate that is blood amniotic fluid placental tissues and fetal parts are placed in a jar and the contents of the jar are then examined to assess that all the fetal parts and an adequate amount of tissue commensurate uh, with the estimated gestational age are present in the um, products. Now looking into the uh, differences between a natural abortion and criminal abortion. Uh, as far as crime is concerned, natural abortion uh, is done uh, with uh, uh, clear indications like uh, uh, pre predisposing diseases uh, then uh, criminal abortion will be done uh, in a pregnant uh, lady uh, if she is unmarried or if uh, a person is a widow pregnancy in a widow then infections are rare in natural abortions and uh, may free frequent in criminal abortion the marks of violence are not present on the abdomen in case of natural abortion but in case of criminal abortion if mechanical violence is used uh, marks of violence may be present on abdomen. Genital uh, organs injuries are not present in natural abortion but in criminal abortion injuries such as contusions, lacerations, perforations etc. may be seen on uterus or its contents and vagina. Uh, toxic effects of drugs uh, may be absent in natural abortion but if drugs are used uh, for uh, criminal abortion Sometimes erosions and inflammation of vagina and cervix due to local application of irritant and causing substances and uh, caustic substances may be present in the genitalia. Then uh, the gastrointestinal and urinary tract also may uh, signs of irritation. Foreign bodies may not be present in genital tract in uh, natural abortion, but in criminal abortion may be present in genital tract like drugs, corrosions, etc. And the fe in the fetus uh, during natural abortion wounds may be absent and uh, in criminal abortion uh, wounds may be present in fetus. So these are the differences between natural abortion and criminal abortion. There has been some significant development in the abortion law in India that is uh, uh, some recent uh, progressive judgments uh, are delivered by Indian courts and this, these have been supportive of a right based interpretation of India's abortion law. I will read out uh, some of the important uh, judgments. In August 2017, Supreme Court of India had uh, delivered a judgment that is a woman's freedom of choice whether to bear a child or abort her pregnancy are areas which fall in the realm of privacy of that lady. And uh, in July 2017, Supreme Court of India uh, in a judgment said that a woman has a sac sacrosanct uh, right to her bodily integrity and it is her choice that, abo that is abortion is that lady's choice. Then in September 2016, the Bombay High Court in a judgment stated that let us not lose sight of the basic right of women that is the right to autonomy and to decide what to do with their own bodies that is including whether or not to get pregnant and stay pregnant these are the some of the landmark uh, progressive judgment that have been delivered by indian courts uh, now uh, what is the condition of abortion law in the world? How restrictive are the abortion laws in the world? In USA, we can um, do abortion at any stage that is legal and there is no exception. But in UK, 24 weeks is the maximum period and uh, exception may be given depending on the risk. In Australia, we can do abortion at any stage and 
different stages uh, states of australia have its own laws about the exceptions in canada about 20 weeks and exception may be given on doctor's advice france the maximum period is 14 uh, weeks and exception may be given depending upon the risk factors and in germany maximum period is about 12 weeks and exceptions up to 23 weeks may be given if doctor's advice and japan abortion is not allowed and exception may be given depending upon the risk and brazil abortion is not allowed and exception may be given upon risk and in india abortion is legal till 20 weeks so we are coming to the last part of uh, today's discussion and the topics discussed today were uh, definition of abortion, types of abortion, MTP Act, complications of uh, medical termination of pregnancy, uh, criminal abortion and uh, law that is the different laws that uh, govern uh, about uh, criminal abortion, then the role of doctor in case of a criminal abortion, what are the methods that are being done uh, to procure criminal abortion and lastly about the difference between natural abortion and criminal abortion. The type regarding the type of uh, abortion, actually, uh, we were dealing about uh, medical legal classification of abortion only. If uh, uh, we will uh, learn about the clinical classification of abortion during your OBG classes. So, thank you for your uh, patient listening and uh, try to um, study this topic. Uh, thoroughly because a lot of questions may be asked in your university as well as semester examinations. Thank you.